What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket no. wrench. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. No. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on, try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator, famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You'll have to do better than that, Jacob. Check with Dick McCall at the Bomba. He'll tell you I was at home. You were at home in bed while your wife was putting out to some stranger? What kind of man are you, Jacob, that you allow that? You son of a bitch. You got no right talking about my wife like that. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket No. Wrench. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. No. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I hope if you ever suffer a loss, people treat you with more dignity than you've been offering me. You did it. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. If you didn't kill her, then who did, Jacob? I... I don't know. I... I don't like to think about it. I know she met other men. I know it. Maybe it was one of them. You used your wife's lipstick to leave us a message. Was it a cry for help, Jacob? Well, the last time I didn't kill my wife. I am done with you. You should charge me or let me go. If not, I'm going to get myself a lawyer. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. 
You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her, all right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. It wasn't the first time you hit her, was it, Jacob? This might sound dumb, but sometimes I had to defend myself. She was strong and dangerous when she was drunk. Jacob, I think she pushed you around and slapped you about. You got to like it. Big guy like you, and you're a fucking pushover. Ah, fuck you. I did my best to make it work. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart, and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. My marriage wasn't violent. Cold, sick, painful sometimes, maybe, but... Not violent. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. Well, in that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. So a burglar broke in the same night that Celine was murdered. You expect me to buy that? I didn't break in. How many different ways do you want me to say it? Where did you hawk the jewelry, Jacob? You know how cheap you're gonna look to the grand jury? Husband murders wife and sells her jewels. I didn't break in. How many different ways do you want me to say it? I may not have a fancy job, I may not have a lot of money, but I still have my pride, you dirty son of a bitch. <laughs>